Okay, the first thing we're going to do is to take a listen and see exactly what it is that we're dealing with. Hello, and welcome to my blog on the United States landmarks. Today, we will be answering the essential question. Okay, the first thing you notice is that there is a discernible hum in the background. Again, that's uh, an old computer, an old microphone, an old sound card, DC offset. Who knows, but it is definitely there. Another thing you notice is that the recorder did not pause for three to five seconds at the beginning of the take in order to get an adequate patch of ambient silence to sample. Listen again. Hello, and welcome to my blog on the United States landmarks. Today, we'll... As is typical with older mics, uh, especially those in the lower price range, the, uh, the mic doesn't pick up a full range of dynamic sounds. It's capturing primarily the higher tones, the uh, the treble, and as a result the voice sounds really pretty tinny. So we're going to have to do something about that. The first thing that we should do is uh, maybe stretch out this waveform so we get a good view of it. We're going to expand it up here and try to find us a section where we can do some uh, capturing of the silence. One of the best ways to capture silence is to make sure you go ahead and normalize it first. So let's go to Effects, Normalize, and I've got this set as a default to negative 2.5, negative 3.0. Since she's so high, such so has such a high-pitched voice, let's go negative 3.0 and maybe that will help a little bit. So let's go ahead and normalize it to negative 3.0. And uh, that definitely gives us a little bit of a better view of the hum, which you can see right there. Let's make sure we got the hum. Wish we had more of a sample. Oh, here's a, here's a larger sample here. That's the importance of pausing three to five seconds before you begin speaking so that you get a good sample of the ambient noise or background noise that you want to take out. Let's take it out by going to Effect, Noise Reduction, and grabbing the sample. Now that we've grabbed the sample, we simply click on this panel over here to select the entire clip. Go back to Noise Reduction, and this time we're going to take out the noise. That was a pretty substantial hum. The default here is noise reduction 14 decibels. I'm going to increase that to 18 decibels. Let's preview it and see what we got. Hello, and welcome to my blog okay, on the United States. that out. That took out the hum, so let's try 16. You want to take out as little as possible when it comes to reducing noise in order to preserve as much voice as you can. Preview again. Hello. And welcome to my blog on the United States Landmarks. To I think uh, 16 decibels has got it. Let's go ahead and click OK. Indeed, the uh, line is now blank and we, means we have successfully taken out the hum. I'm going to go to Control Fit again. Let's see, the next thing, if you look at all the spikes, there's a big difference between that right there and these down here. And that indicates the need for compression. So let's select the whole thing, go to Effect, and let's select our compressor. And let's see if we can't modulate those a little bit. Yeah, that brought them down a little bit so that they're more in range. The big thing that this clip needs is balance between the treble and the bass. So let's go to Effect. Let's go to Equalize, and let's select Balance. Let's balance the audio in terms of its bass and treble. Let's see how, ah, there we go. See how much that came down in order to get more of a balance. Let's listen again. Hello, and welcome to my blog on the United States Landmarks. Today, we will be answering the essential question. That helped a lot. There's another effect up here that you can also use, bass and treble, where you can boost the bass. I'm going to boost the bass all the way up. I'm going to take the treble all the way down. Let's preview it. Hello, 
and welcome to my blog on the United States landmarks. Today, that makes a real difference. It's interesting that uh, increasing bass and treble has also kind of added back a hum, so we're going to have to do some more noise reduction after this. Hello, and welcome to my blog on the United States. Hear that hum? Okay, let's go ahead and apply bass and treble, and knowing that we're going to have to take out some more hum. Yep, there it is. You can see the how. Put it in there. Okay, let's increase the size. Let's go in there. There's the hum that you see. Those little spikes right there. So we're going to go to Effect, Noise Reduction. Let's take it down to 14. Preview. Hmm, still a little bit of a hum. Preview at 16. Okay, that got it. All right, let's take out the hum. There it is. So it is once again clear of hum. Yeah. All right, let's go to Control F to fit the whole thing in. Sounds a lot better. We've reduced the treble, increased the bass. Hello, and welcome to my blog on the United States landmarks. And the Today, darn thing still we'll got some hum in it. Question. How do landmarks wow. Okay, we're going to have another shot at the hum. There it is. Still got hum. Maybe I didn't do the noise reduction correctly the first time. We got the noise profile. Oh, I didn't select. I didn't select the entire clip last time. My bad. Okay, now I'll get the whole clip. Yeah, there it goes. All right, once again, let's test it. Hello, and welcome to my blog on the United States landmarks. Today, we will be answering the essential question. Okay, so we got the hum out. We got the bass and treble more balanced. Can we bring down her voice a little bit and give it a little bit more gravity? If we go to change pitch, right now she's speaking in the key of B. What if we brought that down a little bit so that she's A, a flat, B sharp? Let's see what we got. Hello, and welcome to my blog on the United States Landmarks. Today, we will be answering the... Maybe a three. That sounded a little too bass. We're still at A sharp, B flat. Or, I'm sorry, A flat, B sharp. Hello, and welcome to my blog on the United States Landmarks. Today, we will be answering the essential question. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Let's go ahead and apply it. And let's listen to the clip. Hello, and welcome to my blog on the United States Landmarks. Today, we will be answering the essential question. All right. How let's go ahead and export this as an MP3. How about new edited recording, too? All right. So we have saved it. Now, for comparison purposes, let's listen to the edited portion. Hello, and welcome to my blog on the United States Landmarks. Today, we will be answering the essential question. And let's immediately compare it to the raw recording. Hello, and welcome to my blog on the United States Landmarks. Today, we will be answering the essential question. How do landmarks... So you definitely should hear the difference there. Here is the edited portion. And welcome to my blog on the United States Landmarks. And welcome to my blog on the United States Landmark. And here is the original. Welcome to my blog on the United States Landmarks. Today... Quite a bit of difference. Okay, so those are some of the tools that can help you out, even if you have a uh, insufficient mic, sound card, or very old computer. Hope that helps. Talk to you later.